my friends! In today's video I will be painting Egyptian cats using acrylics. As usual I'm going to work in layers and I'm going to start with the background and for this I'm using two colors, orange and blue. And in between I'm going to blend it with black and white. I'm using the knife right now and I'm spreading the color using the thick part of my knife, spreading the color everywhere. And then with the brush, I'm creating soft transitions and I'm trying to organize a little bit my background. I don't have right now any color on my brush. It's just that my brush is picking up whatever color it's still wet I uh, left my painting to dry for a while and when it's completely dry I moved on to the next step. I would like to create six panels and to make sure that they are even I'm going to use my roller and now with my knife I'm scraping a little bit those panels and I'm enhancing it with my brush. And here I'm going to do some splashes. For my panels, I'm going to place some decorative hieroglyph. And I'm going to use my small detail brush with a light gray. I'm drawing here some line triangles. Here I'm drawing an eye, a line with an arrow and a dot, a circle, and more line and a square. And with this, my first panel, it's ready. On my second panel, I'm gonna draw the eye, some waves, more decorative lines, a bird, a sun right here, another line, and of course, the eye. For a long time, it was unknown what the hieroglyphs really mean. A breaking through point was the discovery of Rosetta Stone. And the linguists were able to understand the message of hieroglyphs. They are a system of words, sometimes just sounds and sometimes just accents. Right here, I'm going to do imaginary hieroglyphs and I'm using the symbols that are easy to recognize, such as circles, triangles, birds, hands, human silhouettes, sun, waves. Here is the sun. And for the last panel, I'm placing, again, the same symbols that I used before, but I'm alternating it. My hieroglyphs will be the background for the cats. But I would like to enhance the top part. And for this, I'm using a light blue. And I am enhancing it. I am going over the contour, but I'm not covering it entirely. I leave some of the previous drawing to be seen. And like this, I think it creates a um, interesting contrast and it creates more definition if it's uh, enhanced with blue. After I finish the background and I let it dry, I am drawing my cats. For this, I'm using the same brush for small details and only black. I'm going to draw only the silhouettes for the cats. This is the leg and a very curly tail. Two little ears and I am enhancing here the tail 
make it even more curly like this now for the second cat I'm gonna start with the head two little ears the neck the back and the legs okay now I'm filling in for the body I'm paying attention to the contour again and a big long tail this way okay now I'm adjusting again the contour and I'm making the tail more more thick and more curly here and the third cat I'm gonna start again with the head a long neck here the body and again a very very long tail like this few more little cats uh, this one it's uh, a miniature of the other cat that I drew before now a cat that it's bending with a very long tail here and the last cat I'm gonna place here at the bottom in order to finalize the cat with white I'm placing few details I am drawing the eyes the nose the mustaches a little necklace here are some lines and then the side of the necklace more lines three rings on the tail and around the body and around the tail a white contour this will help create a definition I'm contouring the ears and I'm placing a pendant here I am enhancing the contour and the moustaches I'm putting more white where I feel it needs I'm moving to the second cat I'm drawing the Egyptian eyes a little dot for the nose and then the necklace of course three little accents here and then the rest of the necklace here I'm putting the Egyptian cross and I'm finalizing the entire necklace I'm enhancing the ears and the white accent around the tail and around the legs um, I'm going to redraw this white contour later on I'm not gonna leave it white but now I'm just placing few accents and I'm going over and over the contour for the third cat I'm drawing the eye um, the ears a little mistake and I'm correcting it um, the necklace of course it has two parts a long part and a short part and contour the tail here and on the tip also and I'm enhancing this contour and I'm contouring the back and as I said before I am um, I am enhancing this white later on I'm going to change it it's not gonna remain white but right now I'm just um, I'm just creating a little bit of definition now for the next step I'm going to make a black contour so along the white I'm going to come with a little tiny um, accent and I'm drawing a line along the ears right now the tail here I'm using only the tip of the brush I want this line to be as thin and as precise as possible and I want to go along the previous contour 
so that is my black contour I'm finishing right now my last cat I'm placing my black accent and to finalize my cats I'm going to add a very transparent layer of orange where I draw before the um, white contour and then I will enhance it with a dark orange. In this way I will create several layers of contour and that helps to create more definition. And at the end I'm going to blend everything together. So I have a white contour, a dark orange and a black contour. And to create this, I'm going to do first the orange and then on top the white contour. I'm going to let only a part of the orange contour to be visible. I will place few verticals here and I'm using again my ruler to make sure that I draw straight lines. And I am enhancing my lines going two or three times over it and then I'm placing my lines on the other side I'm drawing four or maybe five lines it depends here how, how I feel and at the end I'm going to add a few blue splashes and orange splashes. And these are my Egyptian cats painting. I hope you enjoy watching. Please hit the like button, leave me a comment, let me know what you like to see me paint in the future and please subscribe to my channel. And don't forget to visit my website at mgartgallery.com. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.